Well, the other major headline tonight, it is now mandatory to wear a mask in Jacksonville if you're out in public or indoors where you can't practice social distancing. And late this evening, the city tweeting out the official executive order with some changes to the age requirements. So the order now states that anyone from the age of six and up will be required to wear a mask when out in public. So tonight, we're asking you, what do you think about it? You can let us know in our interactive poll at firstcoastnews.com slash poll. And there has already been a lot of fiery feedback on Duval's mandatory mask mandate. Some arguing that masks don't work. Others saying that it infringes on civil liberties. And still, yet others saying, what's the big fat fuss? On your side, Jeff Allen tonight is talking with some folks who were weighing in on our Facebook page. What I think about this mandate is that it's necessary. But of course, not everyone agrees the mask mandate, which took effect in Duval County late Monday afternoon, is right. If I can't wear a mask for health reasons, then it's up to me and my self duties to make sure I don't go into a crowded place or I don't go into a store that has too many people. Some compare the debate to back when these were optional. And when secondhand smoke was still a hot argument. Ask yourself what you will miss more. Your children or cigarettes? Maybe they have a section where people go where masks are required and, you know, so forth. Um, I think it's hitting in that direction. Even those who agree with the mandate admit at least one potentially major flaw. I don't know how they're going to enforce it. Do you think people will cooperate? Well, some will, some won't. But they maintain it's a worthy trade of convenience in the face of catastrophic consequence. This is just one measure and it's temporary. This is not something that's going to go on for years, hopefully until we can get it under control. Would you rather not wear it and be dead or wear it and be alive in order to see another day? Jeff Vallon, First Coast News on your side.